Hey folks, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger at dansfish.com, and today is uh, Fish Health Day, I guess. Uh, Dr. Walkup, our veterinarian, is here. This is her first day, and she's already solved the case. We have some of these plecos that have uh, some little fuzzy patches on the skin. Couldn't tell if it was bacteria, couldn't tell if it was fungal or a parasite. So, Dr. Walkup has solved that. Let me show you what she did. So here's her microscope. The, don't worry, the vodka is for sterilization purposes. And uh, got a slide there with the skin scraping that she's done. And if you look in here, you'll see the problem. That right there, even I can tell, is epistylus. So that's the problem. It's not a bacteria, it's not a fungus, it's a colony of epistylus. Now, if you look at the epistylus, it's like reaching out and then pulling back. If you look at the end that's reaching out, kind of the thick end of the bell shape there, you'll see some cilia. And those are creating movement to pull food, little tiny bacteria and little tiny protozoans and stuff, into their mouth. So these do not feed on the fish. It's not a parasite in that way. What they do is they hook into the fish and live on the fish, use the fish as like a hold fast. Um, and then as the fish swims around, they move these, these epistylus to new feeding grounds constantly, where there's a fresh supply of little critters for them to eat. So they're not sucking the blood out of the fish or anything like that, but they are anchoring into it. They have kind of this hooked tail end, if you will. And every time they anchor in, they pierce the skin. And so after time, you get enough of those, that poor fish's skin gets punctured enough that infection can set in. So we're gonna start treating this now that we know what it is, but it's so nice. I know epistylus isn't rare or anything, but on this pleco, it manifested like a cottony patch. It, it looked different than it looks to me on most other fish, so I wasn't sure what it was. Um, but now I know. I, I really thought it was like a fungal infection or bacterial infection, but nope. It's just epistylus. So we're going to start treatment for that and uh, get this pleco cleared up. So it's so nice. It's so nice to have a veterinarian to work with who can, uh, you know, we can see the actual problem and identify it instead of just being like, I don't know, it's got white stuff on it. So yeah, even epistylus can be tricky sometimes. So I'm really grateful for Dr. Walkup. All right, we're going to go treat this fish.